All right, we're starting with question number 34 now. Tarzan swings on a 30 meter long vine, initially inclined at an angle of 37 degrees from the horizontal. So this is 30 meters long. It's at 37 degrees. Let's do our Tarzan here holding on. Um, what will his speed be at the bottom of the swing if he does the following, okay? Uh, let's see. He starts from rest and he pushes off. So let's do A, starting from rest. Technically, what he's doing here is he's falling this distance when he starts to swing on this pendulum here. So all we gotta do is figure out that height because we know that the potential energy up here is equal to his Ke at the bottom, okay? This is like the roller coaster, the first hill. He has potential up here, no kinetic, he's starting from rest. And he has pure kinetic down here, no potential, he's at the bottom of the swing. So this is an easy one. We know it's mgh equals one half mv squared, and that's a. M's cancel. We know what g is. We're looking for v, all I gotta do is know h. And this is where a little bit of ge uh, geometry comes in. We know that the cosine function, the cosine of 37, is equal to this distance right here, x, over the hypotenuse, ka, right? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go cosine of 37 times 30. That'll tell us this height right here. Now, how do I know how far he's dropping? We're gonna go 30 minus x, and that is equal to how far he drops. Okay? In other words, that's the height he's falling. So all I have to do then is multiply that by 9.8, double it, square root it, I got the velocity at the bottom of the swing. Pretty easy to solve. The second part is, hey, what if he's pushed at four meters per second? So for B, let's put B over here. He's not just starting with potential. He's got a push. So he's got potential and kinetic. So we've got the PE and the KE at the top is equal to the KE at the bottom. So let's write it out. We know that MGH plus one half mv squared at the top is equal to, let me erase this, one half mv squared at the bottom. So m's cancel. We know g times h, right? Because you, you've already figured out how far he's dropping. We know v because it tells us in the question in b, he's, he's going at four meters per second. So we can easily add these two together after plugging in our numbers. Then you're gonna double it, square root it, Voila, you've got what V is. So it's a pretty easy problem to solve once you recognize that all we're doing is adding kinetic energy to the first problem because we're giving him a push to start in. So a pretty easy problem to solve. Uh, let's go to our next one, which is 42. Let's turn the page here. 42. Oh, Tarzan and Jane question. Here we go. Tarzan and Jane, whose total mass is 130 kilograms, start uh, their swing on a five meter long vine, all right? So Tarzan and Jane are swinging. It says here, the vine's at a 30 degree angle with the horizontal. So it's this angle here. So let's draw out what we got. We know that we've got, you know, over here, it's 30 degrees here. So from the horizontal, from here, it is 60 degrees. So that's a tricky way of wording it after the last one gave us the angle from the other direction. So here they are right here. Uh, Jane is with him. I guess she's holding on to him right here. So this is Tarzan and Jane. Let's put J and T. Um, we know that they're dropping. So we need to do the same thing. I want to figure out how far they're dropping. I know this length is five meters, correct? So let's see if we can figure out how far they're dropping. And then what we're gonna do is figure out eventually how far Tarzan will swing if Jane lets go down here at the bottom, okay? So uh, again, we need to figure out their potential energies because that's all they're starting with here. So we're gonna do the potential energy of Tarzan and the potential energy of Jane. And that's just MGH of Tarzan and the MGH of Jane, all right? Um, all I need to know is their heights, because I know their masses. It says here, Jane is 50. If their total is 130, then Tarzan's 80. That's pretty easy to calculate. So 80 and 30. 
9.8, 9.8. Let's get the height. So we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We use the cosine function. So the cosine of 60 is equal to uh, the opposite here, x over the hypotenuse, which is 5. So once we go uh, 5 times the cosine of 60, we've got x. Now this rope is only 5 meters, so 5 meters minus x is how far they're dropping from. Okay, So it's pretty easy to get their two potentials. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add them together. All right? And what that tells us is the potential energy that they start with. Correct? So they're starting here with potential. When they get to the bottom down here, we know that all of their potential is going to turn into kinetic, correct? All right. But then Jane's going to let go. So we're going to lose her energy. So to figure out how much energy they have down here at the bottom, we've got to go the potential energy of Tarzan minus the potential energy of Jane, because she's taken off. She's taken off, right? She's dropping at the bottom. That's easy to calculate, because you calculated their two potential energies. You add them together, and we're just going to subtract the two now to kind of see what's left. That is how much energy that Tarzan's going to have to keep the swing going up like this. We want to see how high he's going to go on this side. That's what the question is asking. Um, and that's pretty easy because once we get this leftover energy here, this is going to be equal to mgh of Tarzan because that's the only guy left on the swing. So we take his mass times his gravity and we divide it into this difference here. And that'll tell us the height it goes. Now what you're going to be shocked at is the answer. And you really shouldn't be shocked because let's talk about it. What do we always do with the mass? on the roller coaster. Does the mass determine how high up the roller coaster is going to go? Cancels out, right? So does it really matter if Jane is on the pendulum or not? Do you remember what we just talked about too with the lecturer holding the ball up here? When he lets it go, all of that potential turns into kinetic and then all of that kinetic turns into potential. So in theory, if mass doesn't matter, how high will he go here if he starts at two and a half meters up? Isn't all that energy going to get converted back into height? So what do you think? Don't be shocked if you find that if he's up here at two and a half meters, which is what this is going to tell you here. If you didn't get two and a half, I just gave you an answer. Uh, he's going to go the same height up. And you're going to be a little confused, like why? And the answer again is, the height that it goes on a pendulum is independent of mass. Remember, Aristotle thought mass is what determines how fast things go down. Uh, but we know that mass is not a factor for the way things fall. So the height he achieves will be the same whether Jane's on there or not. Is that a crazy thing to think about? All right. Let's stop there, and we're going to do the next question in the next video.